Good evening, Master Tanaka. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am Muhammad, and I am very honored to be here in this temple, Master. I know that this temple is not where I am usually invoked, because within the belief of human beings, this name of mine is invoked only in some temples, in some houses. But when you invoke me here, what is this conducting of knowledge to all beings? That we, who are on the spiritual plane, do not make any separation. We, who are on the spiritual plane, recognize the oneness among all. When I bring these words, it is so that everyone can observe how they are conducting their own life how they recognize other beings. Many times here, as you have various religions, various cultures, and all these factors, what do they do? They cause a separation. Because many say that what is respected in one is not respected in another. What is conducted of value in one is not conducted in others. But one factor that everyone must observe is that the universe, the energy that moves the universe, is one. Here on earth, you call this energy God. Yes, there are other names, but since this is the name used here in this temple, this is the name I will put here. When you begin to interpret it in energy, I say that yes, it is much truer, because for energy there are no distinctions, in energy there are no prejudices, in energy there is only the recognition of oneness. So today, when you want to conduct some knowledge, I even say a broader, truer knowledge to all beings. I bring that the conception that each one has of God is what causes the separation. Many times, when you want to go through a path, what must exist on this path? First, of course, knowledge. And always knowledge based on respect. Why do I put this? So that when you address your words to all beings, these words never denigrate the energy of your next. Because what do your words conduct? They conduct energy. But for those who don't have this knowledge, your words conduct the knowledge that is among all of you. So what do I put here that must be observed? Within each one of you, there must be true respect. And this true respect is only part of your being when you believe, when you trust all beings. If you observe what happens within this society among you human beings, it is the lack of trust. You can put a list of items to say why you can't trust. But what I put here is only one item that will bring you the awareness of why you can trust. And that item is oneness. Everyone is the same. When you truly recognize that all are equal, you begin to express that in your energy. So what do I put here? When it's really expressed in your energy, your thoughts, your feelings, your attitudes will be shaped by that energy then yes, you can speak freely and conduct God's truth. Because this is your consciousness. And when this is your consciousness, I tell you, whatever you conduct to other beings will be true. And it will always be within respect. Here you always emphasize this law, that you must respect others as you respect yourself. So, conduct your life 
in this way, and through this, come to recognize the oneness that is present in all of you. With much gratitude, I say goodbye. Thank you very much.